It's hard to uh, judge. We'll wait and see how, I mean, when you watch the film to see what caused what or whenever. But for the most part, a very solid first scrimmage. I mean, for the guys just learning the whole procedure, taking a signal, getting it to the field, getting lined up on their own without, on the first time without coaches on the field, you know, looking over their shoulder, kind of, as I say, take the pacifier away. But just learning how to make plays and, and kind of went both ways. Defense do real good, offense will make, make plays. And defense do good, off. kind of went back and forth, which you like to see. But I like to see some of those guys, once they got momentum on either side, to run with it a little bit. But at the same time, physicality, tried to run the football a lot, be physical, see if we could tackle, see if we could block, uh, see if we could run short yardages and do those kind of things. And uh, we've got to get better in all those areas. I mean, there's tons of improvement, but we'll look at the film and see. Not discouraged, not a, say not unencouraged, but you know, there's a lot of work to do. There's a lot of work to do. How far have your quarterback really progressed in seven days? Okay. Okay. Where do you feel like your grasp is so far? I, know. I mean, they're doing a solid job. I mean, there's a lot to, for them to learn and decisions and plays, and you know, there's a lot more for them to do. I'm not disappointed in them, but there's a lot more that they can do. How much can you really expect, though, for the whole team in a week? <clears throat> well, you got a week. You got two, seven practices, six practices. This depends. Depends on your urgency. I, I, you don't know what to expect. You know what I'm saying? That's based on someone's urgency and ability to learn and pick up things and your desire to, to do it. And I'm not saying they don't, but I, I like to see us as a t hopefully we can get a little more urgency because you only got two weeks left because then you got to hopefully get a lot of this stuff in because you got to get it in. If you don't, they don't know what to work on in the summer. You know what I mean? You could go slow and make it simple, but at the same time, the games we play on the 14th, I'm not worried about. I'm trying to get as much in as we can so they can have that and then have that library of information to be able to work on the summer and then go into fall camp, they'll be familiar with it and go. So from that standpoint, I do understand that, you know, execution is not always going to be a premium when you're doing that. But at the same time, you know, hopefully we'll have keep the urgency, keep a, up the urgency a little bit. Not disappointed with the urgency, but hopefully these last two weeks we'll really crank on it and see what, how much we can get done. You mentioned running the football as a point of emphasis. How the offensive line looked today? Okay, I mean, we, at times defense line had a couple good short yardage stops, but then the, off, the offensive line ran the ball well at times and had some big plays. That was kind of give and take. You'd like to see a little more consistency, but that's kind of to backs filling schemes, where to hit, where to you know where to run, all that type of stuff. That's a combination because sometimes you say you don't run it, but well, sometimes or maybe they, ain't, they make the block. Maybe a tight end misses or a fullback or a back misses a cut. You know what I'm saying? But they were solid. They were solid. Nick, Nick Starkle told us yesterday that you'll reference a play that was 15 years ago or something like that. How much do you enjoy kind of sharing that history of college football? And you said you have a memory for, for everything when it comes to that. Well, I, I do. I mean, and, and also, and, and to situations, occurrences, and, that, and that's your, as a coach, that's what you're trying to do, bring life experiences you had to them to help them. And then if there's a play, you know, they'll say, man, does that really work in that? And you can remember running it versus something you did back 10 or 12 years ago and, and show them it. But actually, when, you, when guys see things work, sometimes it's not that they don't believe in it, but hey, that just, hey, that, that's how it works. You know what I'm saying? It's just like watch, watching, a, if you watch sections of a movie, until they ever put it together, it doesn't become a movie. You know what I'm saying? And sometimes when you're learning an offense, that's how it is against different defenses. And, and uh, so we try to do that as much as we can to give them a reference. You know what I'm saying? Are you starting to find out some of who your leaders are and who's really starting? In to time, I'm, 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 we're starting to emerge in that. And I'm, I'm anxious to watch on the film. And if I saw some of the things I really saw, because sometimes that can be deceiving when you're on the field doing a game, you know what I'm saying, when you're not getting the eye in the sky type picture. And, uh, but some of the guys are coming on. It's been a while since uh, – <coughs> Uh, and fans have needed to know who a new returner would be, or especially on punt returns. Is there I don't know. <laughs> We're working on that now. That's that's an open job. We got three or four guys back there that are working at it, and I think we'll be able to do it. How does scrimmaging out on Kyle Field benefit you guys in any way? Well, I think just getting in your stadium, getting in your surroundings, and just and I think hopefully it brings an urgency to what you because you know you go out there on the practice field. And if you go scrimmage on the practice field, you know if you can go in the stadium, okay, it gets more like a practice. Maybe when you walk in there, it gets a little more special. I got to give a little more juice. I got to lock in. It's special to be able to walk in that stadium and, and you know in a facility like that and go play well so try to get that and as many times you can get them in that situation do you put a lot of value on spring games and how much has it grown since you started coaching? I, I mean, it does no i mean i gave an example one time uh, our quarterback was uh before he uh Played the next year and was our starter, and we won a national championship. He threw six interceptions in the spring game. So, <laughs> so from that standpoint. But what I'm saying is, but it is the thing that can happen. And the guy went back and threw for 3,000, almost 4,000 yards and 30 touchdowns. So, I mean, you know, you can have a day. But also, it's another chance to get them into that environment. Just another time to go out there when the scoreboard's lit up, it matters, there's people in the stands. This gives you that feeling. And sometimes that can get guys through butterflies of doing it again in the fall, that you've at least walked in there when that's 
happened. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it doesn't make you and it doesn't break you, but at the same time, I do think there's some very valuable learning tools you can get from it. And they've kind of become a big event. They have. They have. And I, and I think they're great because as much as anything, all right, you get to have spring game, but, you, but people get to come back and enjoy the university and have – the memories and, and like a reunion with the, the friends and family and everybody. And I ain't worried if we win or lose. We're going to win. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of a relaxed mode. And it. it's just a great weekend to remind you why you love a and why you went to A&M, why you still want to be a part of A&M, and that whole family atmosphere in that, in that regard. And, and to also take a look at the new players and what's going on. Was the flag football game your idea? Yeah, we wanted to do that, yes. I want, and we've done it before. And I think it's just great to bring some of those old players back and get them you know, to ever walk out on that field again and get a cheer and what they meant to this program and the history of it. What was your first live coaching experience in Kyle Field like today for you? Fun. As far as I love, anytime I get to coach anywhere, it's fun. <laughs> you love being out there. Uh, probably too business like I was probably too locked into it to realize I was in Kyle Field. I was too busy looking at, at what we had to get done, but it's a great atmosphere and it's a great place, there's no doubt. Yeah, but do you have a status update on Renfro and a PV? Yeah, care. Renfro will be back in time. He just got a, a little bone in his foot that's messed up, and uh, he'll, be, he'll be back. You know, after. It won't be in spring, but he'll be back. And PV will. Uh, he should be healed up good. It's just we will not – we'll give him some individual work and things now, but we won't bang him in spring. And then after spring, he should be full speed and be ready by the fall. Now Which, how beneficial is it now that you actually have some tape to look at guys for you guys as a staff to teach them? A bunch. And also in a game-type environment to see – the hustle, the effort, the toughness, you know, all the things that go on. And that's the first, that's one of the first learning parts of it and where you got to start from. Now that the spring games are televised, does that make a difference in how you approach them as well? They're nationally televised, the SEC network? No, nah, not really to me. I mean, we're still, we're going to divide. We do the same thing anyway. We're going to divide up, try to pick a team and, and play a real game and try to get as many looks as we can and make it as realistic for the guys as, as we possibly can. So I, I don't think from that standpoint. When it comes to naming a starting quarterback, do you have like a method of doing it after the spring games and during the summer? Nah, whichever one consistently moves us up and down the field, <laughs> it becomes obvious. No, there's no there's no set method except that you, know, you chart everything they do and you, and you judge them every day and you tell them what they're doing good and bad and, and you see how the team responds and who can move the team.